that way than that way. All right, thank you. Thank you, fellas, thank you. All right, the guys love me. How's it going? All right, we have a, uh, wow, it got quiet in here so fast. <laughs> the audience left during the intro. I don't know if you, they're all filing out during the song and then the last person leaves and hits the lights. No. We have, a, uh, we have an excellent show. We have, we're going to round out the year nicely here. We, have, we do a show tonight. We do a show tomorrow night. And that's the end of 2003. It's been a great year. Huh? Very nice. All right. Don't play along. Good. I like to suck up to the year just as it's ending. Uh, and so much going on right now. Who saw the uh, Michael Jackson interview the other night? See that? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, six of, you, six of you will enjoy this. No, tons of people tuned into this. Didn't it do a huge, huge number? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we pale people do well on TV. Uh, well, listen to this. This is interesting. During his interview the other night on 60 Minutes, Michael Jackson claimed that when he was arrested, police manhandled him. Yeah, Jackson said manhandled. I specifically asked to be boy handled. That's what he said. Total facial control. According to a poll in USA Today, Americans chose President Bush as the most admired man of 2003. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Most admired man. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah, apparently the president narrowly beat out the guy in the Paris Hilton video. <laughs> who's, who's my personal hero. I timed that guy and I was like, oh, I'm pretty good. Because <laughs> I don't do so good. All right, now listen. Let's behave. In California, that's a serious state. In California, a new beer is being sold called the Governator in honor of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, apparently, uh, if you drink six of them, you start to talk just like Arnold. Pretty good. <laughs> That's he's, he's, he's taking diction lessons for years. He's like, no, nah, he's speaking to me well. I don't know. According to Forbes magazine, last year, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band were the top concert tour, raking in over $115 million. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, when asked to comment, Springsteen said, I'm thrilled the band made so much money, just don't tell Max Weinberg. <laughs> uh... <laughs> if you think Bruce is screwing you, what do you... Oh, man. <laughs> no, stay! Please, stay, Max, please. Don't make me go out and buy a drum machine. <laughs> You turn it down. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> I'll do that one night. You sit over there and I'll sit over here and just simulate those sounds. We'll be canceled in eight minutes. <laughs> Gotta mention this. This week, the readers of a London magazine voted Christina Aguilera the year's top role model. <laughs> yeah, by the way, the name of the magazine is Skanky Ho Monthly. <laughs> Touch myself if I want. <laughs> All right. Great show tonight. What? It's a classy show. Ba -ba -ba. Excellent show. Excellent show tonight. Icon is here. Broadcasting icon. He's from NBC Nightly News. He's an anchor man. He's the best. He's the father I never had. Oh, wait. I've got a dad. <laughs> Tom Brokaw is on the show. He was always good to me. Always. When I first came to this network 10 years ago, I was like, hi, Mr. Brokaw! <laughs> he was like, hello there, boy. And he... I was small then. Uh, we also have one of the uh, brand new stars of the New York Yankees. Just acquired, just, uh, this, is, this is only several, I guess like a week and a half old. This just happened very recently. A seven-time all-star, Gary Sheffield. He's on the table. <laughs> we must welcome him to New York. Happy about this, Gary? Jerry's happy. Jerry, you think it's a good acquisition, don't you? You're a big Yankee guy, aren't you? Very nice. They're all perverts. Uh, 
And then we're thrilled, musical guest tonight, John Mayer with Buddy Guy and Double Trouble. That's, that's very cool. Did you hear him at rehearsal? Right over here, Matt Swineberger, the Matt Swineberger, the Matt. Come in. Thank you, Max. Come in. $115 million your tour made. That's incredible. Good for you. Well, it's all right. <laughs> wow, all right. You're not getting any of that, are you? <laughs> no. We'll talk. I'll talk to Bruce. I'll get you a big chunk. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> By the way, I have a, um, I should mention this, because we haven't talked about this yet on the show, and this has been in the works for a while. I have a huge announcement to make, and uh, for this announcement, I need the appropriate music. Uh, Bruce, would you put this on? <laughs> The sound of early 80s Canadian rock. That can only mean one thing. Late Night is going to Toronto in February. That's right. Now, I know a lot of shows have traveled to Las Vegas or Los Angeles. Only one late night show has the guts to go to Toronto in February. <laughs> That's right, folks. This is no joke. We'll be doing shows February 10th through the 13th at Toronto's historic Elgin Theatre. So if you live in the Toronto area or for some reason you want to go to Toronto and freeze your ass off, <laughs> you can get tickets by email only by writing to us at ConanInToronto at NBC.com. That's ConanInToronto at NBC.com. That's going to be a great week. We're going to have all kinds of huge stars there. Rush, do you think we can get Rush to do the show? You think? Yeah? I think maybe. Maybe we'll, maybe we get them to reform on our show. Did they ever break up? Okay, we're gonna get Rush to break up <laughs> on our show. They're gonna break up on a Tuesday, start to reform on a Thursday, break up again, and then reform finally on Friday on our show. I'm making that announcement now and I'll have lawyers work it out later. That's how powerful I am in this business. So watch those shows. That's gonna be big. You know what's amazing? They just have Rush back there ready to play at any time on a CD, ready to go at all times. They didn't know I was gonna ask for that, pretty amazing. 